Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Cube 4 of the Weekly Contest 313, Maximum Deletions on a String. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this problem. So this one I struggled with a lot, not in, honestly, not in concept, I knew the concept pretty much straightforward, but I was really bad on implementation, and also just trying to think if there was a easier, or like, um, more fundamental solution maybe. Um, the, the tricky part for me was that N is equal to 4,000, and well, if you watch this channel a lot uh, or enough, you know that my main language of choice is Python. And Python, at least on lead code, 4,000 is 4,000 squares is just not going to cut it. And that's basically why I struggled a lot with this one, because I was trying to think, is there a way that I can do it with 4,000 square in Python? And I, I just, I don't know. Uh, what I end up doing is doing it in C++. And in C++, this becomes uh, a dynamic programming problem. So we, I mean, well, I mean, it, it is also in Python, but that's the way that I solve it. So that's, uh, let's kind of start from first principle of explanations. Um, so here, um, this is a Q4, and this is a kind of a tricky Q4 as well, even though a lot of people did it very quickly. I guess they just, I don't know, I have to see it for myself later, try to figure out and learn as well for myself how they did it. Uh, maybe just clean a code. But the way that I did it, and you know, and this is my thought process, um, I think the DP part we'll try to figure out together, but but it, it's pretty straightforward in the sense that um, you know, if you have done enough dynamic programming problems, you'll have seen similar things before. And and so I'm not gonna go too deeply with from first principles, only because um, I want you to practice this and, you know, maybe you will time out for a different reason, but I want you to at least get the, uh, to get the recurrence or close to it. But, uh, and, and we'll talk about that. But the idea is that, okay, given here, um, what, uh, given a string, maybe, maybe not that string, let me just choose a random other one. Uh, given a string, what only, the only thing that matters is the suffix, right? And what I mean by that is that, um, yeah, because once you do operations in the beginning, you can almost say a deletion of um, the prefix means that you only have the suffix left. And that means that, for example, for, you know, if you think of, want to think about it recursively, you can think about, okay, you have this string. So let's say you uh, get rid of ABC. Now you only have this substring left. And then, was that the end of two? I guess so, huh? So maybe that's not a great example, but you get the idea, right? So for example, here, um, you know, you take the first thing and then it looks like this, and then you take the second, uh, the first two characters again, it looks like this, or you could recursively look like this by taking, you know. So then if you look at, you know, the structure of it, hopefully this part is not that the hard part, right? Um, only because I want, I'm not saying that this is easy, but I'm saying that if this part is tricky to you, then you should work on a, a um, more dynamic programming problems on lead code. There are a lot of those, so I don't want to focus on that part and for this video. Um, okay, so so then the question is, how do you chop off the prefix in a good way, right? Well, if you do a, a naive chopping off and keeping in mind that you have something like like uh, like this, right? I mean, uh, uh, which is uh, the tricky part is because if you have someone like this, A matches A, right? AA does not match BA, so that's no good, no good, right? Um, and that, but then AAB matches AAB, so this is good, right? So that means that you have to be able to do it in a, like you can, you know, you have to be able to do it uh, in a smart way. And if you do it like a silly way, then every time it's going to be O of C, then it's going to be o, uh, where o, o of L, where L is the length of the string that you're checking, then this is going to be O of L square, right? Um, and L will be N, so this is N square. And if you have, uh, um, yeah, and that that's just too slow um, because, um, yeah, that's just gonna be too slow if you have to reconstruct the string every time because then now you have an N to the cube solution. Not gonna go over the, the proof of this. Um, again, this is part of the DP. Um, think of it as an exercise at home, right? So maybe, and, if you if uh, you're the person who is struggling with this part where you have dynamic programming and this is the video for or that's that's my target audience is that um, um yeah and we're trying to reduce this to n square and even then it's too slow for Python that's why I was trying to think maybe there's a, a smarter way but I 
And that's why I spent a lot of time on it um, because I was like, maybe there is a smarter way. That's it. That wasn't the only reason. I always had a lot of implementation and typos and stuff like this. Some of it also, to be honest, is because I'm Westy in C++. You, you could watch me solve it live during that part, maybe on like 2x or something, just to see like all the silly mistakes that I made. I have off by ones. I think I still have an off by one at the end that I didn't really fix. But yeah, but the idea here is just, um, the way that I did it is think about it backwards. Um, so instead I go, okay, you know, I calculate, I calculate um, a. So for for the first index, right? Um, I go backwards. I calculate a. I calculate a a. I calculate a a b a a b a a a b a a a a b a a b. Right. So these are all the possible suffix for uh, the length a, and then I just calculate them, right? <clears throat> and then here. And you, you'll see what I mean in a second, sorry, I, if I'm being a, a little bit obtuse. For the second character, I, I also do this. I go A, A, B, A, B, A, uh, A, B, A, 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 B, A, A, B, right? And then the third, I also do, you know, B, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, A, B. And then I'm going to stop after this one, don't worry. A, 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 B, right? So that's basically the idea. And, and then the idea here is that, okay, let's say I have an A, right? Then I just look for... Look at the the next L one uh the, the same length. I go okay. So this is a. Um, are they the same? Okay, they're the same. That's good. Then we can do it. A A B. Are they, is it the same as this one? That's good, right? If that's the case, that's good. So that's basically the core concept of you know just doing it um in a way. And and the part that I'm trying to get into, of course, is Robin Carp. Of maybe fingerprinting some you could or hashing or something like this, depending on how you want to say it, right? And what I mean by that is that the, this is why I ordered it this way, right? Because now, going from here, pre-calculating here to here to, to here to here, it's just an O of 1 operation. So then this, in total, is going to be O of N operation, right? Same thing starting from the second index. This is also going to be O of N-ish, dot, 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 right? I mean... Uh, you could, you know, obviously if you look at it backwards, it's going to be just like 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 plus n. So this is going to be O of n squared, right? Um, and because of that, that's going to be fast enough to do, do this fingerprinting. Because once you fingerprint, then you compare in O of 1 because you're just comparing a number. And that's basically the idea I have here. I'm not going over Robin Cobb very tightly. Um, definitely look into it. But one, one idea about thinking about it is just representing as a as a number of, uh, uh, in a different base that, um, you know, there's also a lot of math around like force collusion and stuff like that. And I would also um, say that, um, I would also say that it is way, uh, this is way challenging, challenge a bow um, because given the, the mods and the, the basis, you can actually construct something that forces a force collusion. You know, you, you can add double hashing and stuff like this to make it harder, but it still will happen. So, yeah. Um, cool. So, yeah. So, that's basically the idea, and then we're going to go over the code. Uh, I actually had a one wrong answer just because I was a little bit silly on the DP. So, uh, what I did on the DP was that I forgot that to count out the impossible states, um, and I... Eh. It was, it was a mess. But yeah, but this is a very short code. Basically, the idea here is that I, like I said, I, I, I create the suffix uh, fingerprint by kind of almost like, uh, the other term is rolling hash, I suppose. And you can kind of see why it's called rolling hash because every you keep on rolling forward and then you hash it every time, right? Um, so that's basically uh, this part. Um, this mod, uh, I'm not going to lie, I, I always Google a big, big prime just like a random one. It feels like a random one because I always just Google it. Maybe I get the same answer every time. I don't know. We'll see. But but yeah, so I don't have any like weirdness to it. You can Google a random one and yeah. But yeah, so that's basically to pre-cache all the suffix starting with length i. Or yeah, starting at index i of length j minus i plus one, I think. Um, and then that stores the hash. And then in the DP, this is the part that we talked about. We just kind of um, brute force... Uh, or not proof force, but like a DP of like, okay, if we start at I and we want to uh, something of length J, 
um, do they match? And if, if the fingerprints match, then we just update the DP um, of adding it plus one. Uh, we do a push DP as I think is what the current terminology is. And then at the very end, we update to the best uh, thing. And I added this a little bit later just to kind of make it a little bit faster, meaning that if this is an unreachable state, we just uh, uh, skip ahead and you know just make it slightly faster. Um, as you can see, this is going to be n square everywhere. So yeah, in time and space. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. I don't. I, I'm also going to learn a little bit after the contest how people did it so fast. People are so smart. Um, yeah, because I don't. I mean, I did take a little bit of time, but I, I thought I wasn't that bad. But anyway, um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you did. And yeah, you could watch me self live in the contest next, including. Um, I actually one thing that I did try to do was solve this in Python after submitting in C plus plus, and I wasn't able to do it. So if you are able to do it, send me a link to your submission in the comments or on Discord, and yeah, let's learn together. Um, that's all I have for this one, and you could watch me solve it live in the contest, including the the Python attempts now. Okay. Feel finished already? Feel already finished. Maximum deletion on the stream. First I letters of the string with the first I equal to the following I in the string when I, okay, ABC. Maximum operations, huh? So you, once you have normal move, you're done. So, okay. So A. -A. Hmm, 4,000, huh? Can only delete the beginning. Okay, so A, A, that's good. Do we want to, though? Um, N is equal to 4,000, it's weird, because N squared is too slow, maybe. But... Then we delete one. Let's see here. We both have to do 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 do, but then we're done, right? So okay. Hmm. I don't know how to do this one. How do I even check that in a fast way? Hmm. So, okay. Every iteration we get rid of some stuff, right? So how do, can do we, can we put, um, maybe a thousand series if we force. What is the complexity there? The first case we do, what do you do for 4,000? That's no good, that's gone. What, what, if you, what is the worst case? Worst case is if you do like half and then half. If you do it half every time, that should be okay. Except for you can't do it because every comparison is not. You can't reuse comparisons, is the problem. Hmm. People are slowly getting it, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, this is not updated yet. Um, so I delete all the letters as a red choose. Okay. I mean, the recursion is kind of straightforward if we're able to do it. Can we figure it out backwards? Okay, so for example, can we do C? Is the last one BC? So we find BC. Does that even help? I mm, don't know. 
ABC. ABC, nope. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I mean, yeah, I don't know that we can do it backwards. So now B, well, no. Last one is AB, no. AAB. Yeah, I don't think I could do it that way. The, pref the suffix makes sense, but people are very fast on this one. Oh, didn't see, don't see Josh. But. Yeah, too slow in Q3. Um, hmm. I mean, can we do 4,000 square things? <sighs> 4,000 square is too much though, right? To store a number maybe, but then you can get hacked for sure. If it was a thousand, I would definitely go for it. Four thousand is a little bit weird. Uh, let's go for it. I don't know. If... Plus ten now. Okay. It'll be indexed, and then each of them will do four thousand. I think that's okay. Okay. I think that makes sense, but. We'll see if, if I can code it right. I think I have an idea. Oh my god, 65th. People are really fast. Um, a lot of people got it, I guess. Mm. Basically, what I want is for me to. Right. And then what I want is. Just Google random prime, so yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, fine. Um, so J is a little I, J is a little little. little. is kind of like a slower today but we'll see if hmm. oh, I have to do 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 whatever oh maybe that's too much though okay 
so it takes right okay well let's see Ooh. okay maybe that's fast enough i don't know if that's fast enough to be honest because i haven't even done the code yet um but here we actually want yeah okay okay and this is very challenging but i'm not gonna lie so yeah uh and then now we just do the push one move is always maximum when you delete so yeah maybe so then If I guess this zero is actually one, so maybe this is off by one. It's a little awkward. DP of J is equal to DP. I think that's not how Max works in C++, but okay, fine. I guess it should be in. I don't know why. I guess I was just lazy. Hmm, that's not good. I think that's just this stuff, though. Like this, maybe? Nope. Hmm. Which part is it that's causing it? Is it that one? Okay, it is actually. Huh. DP sub J. Why? Tell me why. Because oh, we want to go to N. Nope. This is print. Prints two and then two is out bounds for what? Why? Why? That's where I'm a little bit uh, out practice for whatever, but. Come on. Oh my. Zero two. So why is that? What am I doing? Oh, why am I over four on this? Eleven. So. And getting this out works. I'm debugging silly things again. Oh wait, no. Huh, I thought it worked before. 
way is it getting blocked? I guess this part then, right? Which is fine. That's what I thought actually, but I, I just I thought I ran it and it showed the other thing. Is that even fast enough though? Did I submit? I just ran, right? Huh. I think the just system is having some issues. Um hmm. I plus J plus one and then J. Maybe the J is one? No, it should be okay. Oh, it is. Oh, it's time limited because I have a print statement. That's why that makes sense, actually. Okay, so this would be the worst case, and it, it's put fast enough. Maybe not. But I have to do this lookup, but I'm doing the math wrong. So if it's IJ, do 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 do. Let's maybe just do 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 do. Minus I. Okay. So for, there we go. I don't know if this is too slow though, but at least it's giving me the right answer. Even for a four thousand, right? I have a four thousand one okay. Whatever. Two two five two. Nope, I got A, B, A thing wrong. Okay. Hmm. That's tractable at least. Uh, okay. I think I'm. Hmm. The A's are always confusing sometimes. Though now I have this one too, so. Hmm. Um, am I doing it wrong? Why is this now all of a sudden already wrong? Am I off by one? Maybe I'm off by one. <sighs> Jeez. Let's actually make this negative one even so that it should never match. Okay. <clears throat> so it's messing up on A, 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 A. Why? There's just an easy print it out. Um, so there's a zero all the way up to whatever, right? So, yeah. uh, well, dreams of finishing quickly has dashed but still I am uh, what come on say what Oops, I put one instead of I. Okay, fine. So one, twenty-eight, okay. I J, okay. This makes sense, so why am I wait? I had the right answer for this one. Well, I, I'm off by one, but that's fine. But then if I do a lot more, that's not fine, right? Maybe I miss with the bomb a little bit. Um, oh, why is this so slow? Oh, because of the print statement again? Oh, man. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. But I can't be just off by one, though, because I'm also off by a lot on the big case. Maybe I'm just off by one on the, the four. Zero is length one. Maybe I need to do something like this. Um, 
because I'm about to get to end maybe is that why So this, this is falling out of bounds then because the suffix is that doesn't even do anything. I don't know why this is so wrong though. Let's focus on this one. I think this one will give me what I need but Way slow on today. Really? Oh, yeah, put this back in. So, this is too wide. How do you get two from here? That's nonsensible. DP of zero should be just one, right? Oh, because this is dp of j, which is wrong. What we want is i plus j. Wow, whoops. That is a... Uh, I, I, okay, that is just stupid, Larry. Stupid, Larry. Let's be a plus one, though. Okay, well, if that was the case, then that's actually very sad, but... Because I, uh, I was thinking about, uh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so five, t I don't even know if that's the real cases anymore. That's because in the order it is two, four, five, two, four, five. All right, let's give it a submit. Hopefully, this is goodish. Oh, hmm, okay, this is actually hard. I don't know how to do it. Expected one. Three. Why do I have three? Hmm. Maybe my if statement is a little bit weird. I think as soon as this is not right, but then is there like a false positive or something? Why is that? So A. Well, A, okay. Do do. Oh, I'm returning max here, but I'm not, how did this get pushed? This gets pushed because it starts at here and then it just pushes. Okay, I'm, I'm messing up. Uh, normally I would just do it top down, but I, I think I was trying to be a little bit bottoms up and as a result, that was actually not great. Okay, fine. Um, how do I rotify this then? Um, I guess maybe I just do like negative. Hmm. Well, zero so is definitely not the answer though. Uh, but we do one dp of zero is equal to one because we can always do that. So maybe that's the way to do it. Um, and then it's one, okay. If I should keep the print statement in there, was I going to use it anyway? So two four five is the okay. Let's give it some mid. Hopefully not a. That was just a little bit sloppy on that. Okay, um, yeah. I mean that was harder than I think. That was a hard one. I mean I actually knew how to do it, but I I don't know. I think I was watching. I was trying to do it in C plus plus, and then I just made some silly mistakes. I think if I did it in Python, I could have done it quicker. Let's see if I could have done it in Python. This is my up solving one, because I think that was my issue was that I, I you saw me struggling a lot with um, um, you saw me struggle a lot with uh, yeah yeah you saw me struggle a lot with uh, just doing in C plus plus because I wasn't sure about the performance. Um, but because I would have also went in another way. So let's try it real quick. Um, not so bad. I mean, there's a five minute penalty, maybe top 100 if I'm lucky, or I don't know how far behind I am. But um, 
Yeah, so okay, let, let's actually do this. So, yeah, uh, index is equal to n. Return zero. Otherwise, uh, yeah, pass is equal to negative infinity. Because I, I might just do it just to see. Um, I, you know. um, okay, so then now we go for i in. Or for length for so on, range of uh, n say if uh, my my loops are pretty bad so uh, l is is yeah I guess this is best of is one if it's a return the entire string so I think that's fine so yeah so this is great and you go to n then we return best I suppose. Also, just add the cache now before I forget. Um, and then here, if uh, suffix of index of length L is equal to suffix of index plus L plus one of L, then best is equal to max of best. Well, actually, you know, G is equal to go index plus L plus one. Um, if g is greater than rest, then best is equal to g, something like this, right? And then now we can just return go zero, and then also what we want is uh, the suffix thing, right? Suffix. Duh, 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 duh. Again, I need um, twenty digit prime. Why not? Okay, I, I just took a copy, a random one from the internet, in case you're curious. I just Googled it, literally 20 digit prime. So then, okay. Um, yeah, for J and range of N, or some I to, to N, I guess. Okay, seven, ten, or order of S sub J, minus order of A, plus one, and then that's uh, mod, and then suffix uh, whoops. right, okay I think that's mostly it really, right? Uh, okay, oh, by one, I forgot to run an if statement, right? Plus one, I guess. Hmm. The way that I got to it by is by cheating on the other one by just having a big enough uh, uh thing. But can I be a little smarter? Why is that out of bounds? L cannot be. Cause it already wants L, right? Oh, maybe. Why tell me why do 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 because it doesn't start from there but length is zero so mm, I don't never get it okay fine but uh so. <laughs> see if that fixes it nope. Just, just to see. I mean, I'm not gonna keep it in there. But okay, so that doesn't work. So I have some typo, maybe. But the the beautiful thing is that now I can just print the index print suffix real quickly. Um, just to see if I got it right. One twenty. Hmm. It should be twenty eight. But maybe I'm wrong. One times times. Oh no, no, this is a B. Okay, I was okay. I remember that last time we was in a different problem. Okay, so why is this wrong? Is it this part? Oh, uh, this part may be greater than n, I guess. And also, this is this plus one, so I just had the wrong answers anyway. So maybe the other thing was right. Um. Just that I um, okay. So it was right. Just that I 
somehow I don't know why is what am I doing that I'm doing yeah. uh, just this, let's try something like this this could still give me an issue well now it's giving me an issue in terms of uh, the thing being slow oh whoops that's because I didn't do this I'm dumb okay that's pretty fast uh, I guess the case that we've all been waiting for is to do do 10 that's a hundred that's a thousand that's four thousand how, how fast is this would this be fast enough because that's what I was worried about in Python didn't know if this was going to be fast enough it doesn't seem like it so maybe there's a smarter way maybe my C++ is uh yeah maybe my C so I, I'm happy that I did it with C++ but this is still I don't know what the way to do it is to be honest <coughs> ah top hmm, 196 I guess that's okay I don't know uh, hmm Is there a smarter way to do this? Maybe, maybe there is. Seems like people did it pretty quickly. Um, and also, yeah, in a way that I imagine, I mean, Ui did it in like three minutes or whatever, two minutes. So I don't know, maybe there's a smarter way. Mm. Prefix. Maybe that's the way to do the math instead, but that's still gonna, like this logic is still the same. So ba basically the idea that I have is just optimizing it so that instead of, but I mean, this co this is still an old one lookup, so I don't, I can't imagine it'd be that bad, but the idea is just having a prefix, some kind of thing instead, but, and then you can calculate, you know, the chunks of the subsequence or something like this, but, I don't know and you could cache this and there are a lot of stuff that maybe we don't need to do but um, hmm. I guess my rating will probably stay the same ish is this final ish oh man it's still going down wow people got really quickly hmm. no one ever got us yet but I wonder like I'm trying to think is there a cleaner solution Hmm. I think there's like a my, decode my submission submission thing. So I'm trying to. I forget what what, what the link is. Like there, there's a bun for decode submission history, and I'm just trying to find it. Um. Okay. Because I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, I, I put it on the other screen. I was just trying to see my uh, my running time to see if I could optimize it even more. Maybe. N square is that is probably targeted, and this is pretty lean N square. Like I don't think I'm going to spend that much more t time. So, uh, so I guess I needed to do it in C and I was very rusty with. Well, I also spent a lot of time debugging this. This I. Uh, that's what I get for switching notations from here, um, from here and here. Um, but I don't know how long I spent on this, but that was definitely an issue. Um, hmm. Otherwise, it actually wasn't that bad, but maybe I, I mean, yeah, maybe if I, I can write this in um, the other way as well. Uh, I, I was Because this would be the natural way that I write it. But I guess I can also do it this way and just copy and paste this loop because loops are hard. And I just, I'm just curious if I could have done it in Python. I guess it's the um, thing. Sorry, I'm still in, in whatever mode, so yeah.
I'm really bad at writing the, the reverse map, that's why I write it this way, so excuse me. I can't believe I, I kind of spent a long time on that deep typo though. Under, uh, I'm confusing I and or J and um, I plus J plus one. this fast enough I mean it should be faster but that's why I don't know if like if this doesn't work right then is Python screwed or is this just like a like yeah I don't know how, how to get it to work then right hmm. I don't get it and people got it really quickly so I don't know if there's like a an obvious thing that I'm missing, like prefix tree, sliding window. <clears throat> I mean, there, there are other ways to do it, but it's still going to look like this, or at least this part, in terms of like similar ideas with like, okay, maybe I could optimize out this loop. And then this J, you can imagine like shifting, uh, um, shifting and then adding it and stuff like that there are definitely ways to do that but huh i don't know if i could figure out a three minute solution that's hmm. <clears throat> and a lot of people got it though so that's very impressive actually i don't think this is that easy but i mean that uh, I mean the DP part is easy, but I don't know if, well, maybe there's another way of doing it. I mean the DP makes sense though. I think uh, maybe I can do something like if this is not the same. No way, you can't because you can't assume that the prefix is the same, right? So, hmm. yeah, I don't know how to do it correctly. If there's another way. I mean, I didn't embarrass myself, but I am curious, what do I do if, like, is there a better idea? And of course, this, this is going to get challenged anyway, in theory. But, but in Nico, we don't care about that, I think. So, so if there's another way. something like <laughs> I mean that's faster but well that's fast if you type it correctly because now basically this is not reachable let's like really submit just to see And that's just so that I can uh, see if that's time. Oh, that is much faster, just in case. I mean, that took 15 minutes, but I probably should have done that to begin with. But that's just like a, a necessary type of thing. But yeah. Maybe I could have done that here. Um, if, oops. A DP supply. No, because the case that I had, it timed out on the input that we tried, right? And then put that we tried, um, every space is reachable. So I don't think that would have been enough. I still don't know how to do it. Hmm. I mean, I, I think I optimized it a little bit more. You know, uh, so that, you know, in case the other one does fell out. But 
yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and this explanation. Um, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.